the wreck happened in the Springdale area, and sources tell us that the teens were on their way to summer school when the driver lost control of the wheel. Yamarisa Say joins us live at the scene for us. Yeah, and Yamarie, we're talking about an accident that happened this morning. Now, you spoke to neighbors there. We also have video of the moments right before that accident. Just tragic. Yeah, that's right. Both of these teenagers were driving down on Ardwick Armour Road, heading to Charles Herbert Flowers High School, which is just down the street. And take a look. You can even see the skid marks of the vehicle right before the moment this took place, and that's when they crashed into this pole in front of this home. Now, neighbors heard the noise and quickly ran out and tried to help, but a lot of them are heartbroken about what they had to see. Frightening video from Friday morning shows the moment a car slides out of control on Ardwick Armour Road in Springdale. And I hear that boom, I know what it was right away. That's when Melvin Evans came outside. A car crashed into a pole right in front of his home. Neighbors quickly rushed to help. They pulled one person out and put him over there, and he was checking his pus on the other one. He couldn't get no pus on him. And then by that, by that time, the police came. The victims, two teenagers on their way to summer school at Charles Herbert Flowers High School, just a few feet away. One of the teens passed away. The other is expected to survive. Really emotional because I don't want to see nobody, you know, nobody gets, you know, get hurt or get killed. Like even young kids or anybody, I don't want to see them get themselves hurt. Evans has lived here for nearly 40 years. He says speeding is a problem and he's witnessed several crashes. I would just, I would just like to see more more uh, more uh, safety rules and regulation up here. The signs up here saying slow down, be safe. That's what I would like to see. And he's keeping the family of both teens in his prayers. That the Lord will just will, will, will just put his arms around them and dry the tears from the eyes and get them comfortable. Now, Evans tells me another big concern he has is this turning sign right here on the ground. He says it should be further up there because when people see it right here, they immediately assume that they should turn into his driveway. He said he's had to stop people several times. He's hoping that officials can remove that and just keep the one over there where the official right turn is. For now, reporting in Springdale, Maryland, I'm Yamaris Sase, DC News Now.